Hi everybody, welcome back to the amazing Armour of Forger and in this guide I want to show you how you can add a mod to your community server that will allow you to access modern weapons when you're playing a conflict so everything might seem normal but however, watch when I aim down sights look look what I've got here I've got this um, amazing, I think it's an M, some sort of M4 variant I think um, it's got um, a laser on it, it's got a, uh, a torch on it, and then we've got this beautiful sniper rifle as well. That we can zoom in at and zoom out. Very, very nice. In fact, if we go to the armory, you'll see that there is the normal vanilla weapons, and then there is a plethora of new weapons. Now, you have, doing this this way, not only do the Americans get a load of new weapons, well, modern, modern weapons, but the Russians do as well. And also, in the sort of equipment side, you get a load of new modern options as well as rigs. Now, I'm not quite sure how some of these will work. I think things like the, sh the shemags and some of the helmet covers don't work. You'd need to have different mods, but you should be able to do the other ones. And one of the idea, the idea behind doing this in a quite lightweight way is that you can use it on your server, um, say for console as well, and it's not going to put too much pressure on people downloading mods however the main mod the rhs mod is quite big but without further ado let me show how let me show you how to do this um in fact tell you what, let's just quit out of here because you can probably hear my pc humming in the background so here we go so the two mods are interested it is the amazing red hammer studio status quo mod and this has so much stuff in it it's a big mod it's 6.78 gigabytes so the first time you download this and use it it's going to take a while it's going to take a while for your server to update as well but there's so much in this mod um, in fact there's i don't even know what's in it and one of, the, one of the one of the common things you come across with modding and this isn't just in armor forger but it's modding in general the documentation that comes with mods isn't always that uh, inclusive of all the information you might need. But we're going to be using this mod, RHS Status Quo by Red Hammer Studios, and the RHS to Vanilla Arsenal Volume 0.10 by Arctic Fox Actual. So this is the bit that actually puts the RHS stuff into the arsenal so that you can access it in a game of conflict. That's kind of kind of the difference. So the way that we the way that we would do this is we would go into the workshop and you would find those two mods. So you look for status quo. And then you download that one. So you go into it and the download option I think is normally here, isn't it? And then you would go look for um RHS vanilla like so where's the one that I use can't see it where's it gone what's it, what do I, what's it called it's called RHS 2 vanilla isn't it RHS 2 vanilla RHS no it's not that one alright there it is RHS 2 vanilla arsenal and you click on that and download that one um, and it says enable dependencies but what it means is you need the RHS mod and then what you would then do is go into the mod manager and you can disable that if you just come down it's all in alphabetical order now so RHS 2 vanilla and activate that and it will activate RHS status quo as well activate any other mods that you want on your server click on the little jigsaw piece up here go to the JSON and that will then give you the mod IDs and mod names and version numbers. So you can copy that to your clipboard. Then go over to your server. So you have to be in your general settings. Then go to your config file. So your config.json. And then inside the mod section, so inside the square bracket, you would copy and paste those two. So as you can see, we've got RHS to Vanilla Arsenal and RHS Status Quo. However, do notice that I have got rid of the version numbers. I'm still scratching my head a little bit why they don't act. Well, actually, I do know. So the idea of getting rid of the version numbers is that the server and your um, console or PC will always use the latest versions. 
The reason why the version numbers are included is a mod or the game may well get updated at some point where it makes it not work with other mods. So let's say that RHS status quo gets updated and the new version of RHS status quo doesn't work with the existing version of RHS to vanilla arsenal. It means that you can force the server and people joining it to use the older version of RHS so it's still compatible with that mod. However, I think if you come across that use case, then by all means use it. Otherwise, I think you should really get rid of the version numbers and always be using the latest version. Otherwise, when people come to join your server and you're using an old version of a mod, especially a big one like RHS status quo, they may well have to wait quite a long time for that to uh, for that to work. And obviously, we would then save that. Um, and you're obviously going to make sure that you know in your settings, you know you've got it set up to play as uh, conflict on everyone or whatever whatever you want so that you can go into and uh, add those mods and do remember and i keep banging on about this make sure that when you do change your config.json that you go to your config files and create a new profile so call it you know like i have here everon conflict with rhs and save that because it means that you can very very quickly come back to that config file you can just restore it so, for example, when I want to go to the full WCS mod in Conflict, I can say Restore, and that will restore the scenario, and that will restore the re the relevant mods as well. I just have to restart the server, and they will come into, come into effect. So, once we've copy and paste those, you just restart your server, um, and then you, you'll you'll be back in, and you can you can join. So, just to, let's see. So, if we go in, get multiplayer favorite. Oh, we, actually, there's some. There's been some connection problems for the last couple of days, with um, with multiplayer servers all over the place. Yeah, so we won't be able to go back in for some reason. It's in that. What I was going to quickly show you was the Soviet loadouts um, weapons. Um, they are some. There's some really cool weapons that the, the Russians have got. Really cool, just like the Americans have. So there we go. A nice lightweight way of adding modern weapons to the armories for your conflict and other scenarios just bear in mind what you'll end up with is you'll end up with when players spawn in they will spend a lot of time looking through and trying to pick their correct weapon that they want and getting their ammo and their correct loadout and they will be using an awful lot of supplies as well to do that so it kind of delay the beginning of the game but if you're playing with friends on a like a, a say a game master mission or a even playing conflict where it's you versus the ai you know spending 10 minutes just to get yourself sorted it's not too bad is it anyway that's enough from me hopefully you found this useful thank you very much for the creators of those mods um if you found it useful hit like once you want to say press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon